the presentation for IEC 509. Um, I chose the chromosomal disorder trisomy 18. Um, until recently, I had never heard of trisomy 18. Um, and then a few months ago, I actually had known an acquaintance who was pregnant and had a baby with this disorder, and the baby did not live. Um, and I had never heard of the disorder and wanted to find out more about it. Trisomy 18 is also known as Edwards Syndrome. It's a rare chromosomal disorder, um, which is not genetic, which can be affected by maternal age, but is a result of faulty chromosome distribution, um, which is nothing that can be caused or prevented by the parents. Um, in a typically forming embryo, every chromosome exists in pairs throughout the cells, but in a trisomy, um, certain chromosome occurs three times rather than two. And there are several different kinds of trisomies that can occur. Um, the one that most people have heard of, which is pretty common, is trisomy 21, which is also known as Down syndrome. Um, trisomy 18, however, occurs about one in every 4,000 live births, but unfortunately most babies don't survive to birth. And then of those who are born alive, the majority of them will die within a few days. Only about 10% of babies born with trisomy 18 live beyond one year. And these statistics are due to the severe health indications associated with the disorder. Trisomy 18 causes a variety of health issues, um, including, usually including, but not limited to, congenital heart defects and then kidney and respiratory difficulties. Um, some other symptoms are developmental delay, growth delay, and mental retardation, which is often likely. And some physical features of the disorder include widely spaced eyes with narrow eyelids, club foot, web toes, overlapping fingers, small jaws and mouth, undescended testes in males, and um, the most common is head mouth formations. Um, because of the short life expectancy for this disorder, this um, limits the implications for intervention and teachers, um, mostly, mostly because of because of the medical fragility of the children. Most of them aren't going to be in group child care settings and public schools, and because of the short life expectancy. And so, most therapeutic focus is going to be on eating and breathing issues, respiratory issues. And because of the delicate immune systems and susceptibility to disease, most children with trisomy 18 won't be able to be around many, many other children and in many public places. Um, and so therefore, um, not only the therapeutic focus, but also the focus for any interventionist or teacher is going to be, as I said, first on health. And then the second most important aspect would be on support for the parents and families. Um, and as a resource, we as teachers and interventionists should focus on helping parents get things like parent support groups or find websites, um, maybe get respite care and any other services that the family might need. And also to remember that emotional issues are going to be very prevalent. Um, teachers and interventionists would need to keep in mind that the life expectancy of the child is going to emotionally affect the parents, the child, siblings, friends, any other children that might be around, and even for us, the teachers and interventionists, just knowing that the child probably isn't going to survive very long. Um, and there are some children that have lived with trisomy 18 into up to their late teens. And actually, I found an article, a journal article about a woman one woman in India who was confirmed to have trisomy 18 who has lived to be 52 years old. And the doctors and researchers um, just attribute this to the fact that she did not have any heart defects. So she has a healthy heart. She has many of the other disabilities and um, symptoms associated with trisomy 18, but she had a healthy heart. So there is hope and um, as teachers and interventionists, we would have to remember that the best thing we can do is give support for the families and parents and 
to keep in mind the emotional fragility and the health fragility of the children. And that's it.